Hey everyone, welcome back to my tech channel. I apologize for the uh, the crappy mic today, but it was either this or trying to maneuver my main mic around, my mic arm, while I'm trying to unbox this case. Not really practical. So hopefully it's not terrible. I know my AC is on right there. I could turn it off, but you know. So today I'm unboxing the Mori Height 40 PC case, or well, the bundle actually. It comes with a lot of accessories. Power supply cables, keycaps, that's the word, a bunch of other random pins and stuff. So I thought I'd unbox it today since, just, since I just got it and I can show you guys what's all in the bundle if you get it. They are still available last time I checked. I don't know if the pre-order price is still up. It was it, Supposedly it's going to be cheaper to pre-order it, which I did. Still not that cheap. I think it was like $300 for the bundle or $200. A bit pricey, especially just for mostly a case, but it's Cali, so I got to do it. All right. And I have a camera over there as well to get a wider shot because I, I don't feel like moving this over there. It's tracking me, as you can see. Hopefully everything stays in, in focus, like in the shot. Okay, anyway. So right off the top here, I literally just like cut the box open, nothing else. So if you got, oh boy, here we go. Oh yeah, I gotta zoom out. See, this is the handy part about this camera. If you'd stay zoomed out, it'd be great. Still tracking me? Yeah. Okay. Got this little box on top. Oh my god. This looks like the accessory box. This is a big accessory box. El Nifo. Alright. Put that right there for now. Don't mind the messy bed. All right, so that's what you get inside. Power supply cables, little box. This look, looks like the tapestry, and then I'm not sure where this is. I forget what all comes in the bundle. I know I really wanted the tapestry because I love Rosary's art. I've been wanting to get something from her. Oh, the mouse pad. Duh. I'm really tempted to change out and like actually use this one, but also like the ones I have aren't the cleanest, even though I definitely try to keep them clean. So I don't know if I'll use this. But I actually actually unbox it anyway to actually see what it looks like and show you guys. So, oh, it's wrapped like this. I thought it was like wrapped like how the Hollow Live uh, mats usually come, where they're like in the plastic thing and they roll it up. This is just rolled up and then put into the plastic thing. It's a little different. Ooh. It's very silky. It actually has a stitched edge. Oh, actually, I can do this now. Zoom in more. Really, kid? Zoom in more. That's all you're doing? Okay, I guess I'll get closer. It has a actual, like, seamed edge. Which is actually really nice to see because most of the Hollow Live mouse pads or desk pads don't have that. So the, the, some of them kind of tend to fray over time. But this one, it shouldn't do that. It's a bit like thin, but the hell are you going, camera? Yep, face is here. There you go. Look at that. Nice. I love her art. Very nice shades of red too, red and black. Got Death Sensei. Hell yeah. Okay, let's see how it would actually fit on my desk. Okay, so about how the Asus mousepad was. That makes sense. Roll it back up for now. Nice and protected. Power supply cables. Never actually used any kind of like extenders or replacements. I've been wanting to get some, but they're just so expensive. These are very stiff. They have a little comb in between. A couple of combs to keep it orderly, even though it comes kind of a bit mixed up. 
so. Okay, so that's how that works. Cool. Now, as far as I know, cable replacements like these are not universal. So I'm curious if they work with my power supply, even though I can't really, I mean, obviously they're made for this case. Unfortunately, I'm probably not gonna actually use this case in my main build because, ah, as you guys know, I have the Pay600S from Fantex, which is two systems in one. And I can't fit two systems in one in this. And I don't feel like breaking them apart because I have, I've kind of built my setup around that, so. If I find a use for this case, I'll probably definitely try to use these. And get a power supply that works so that actually I can actually, you know, because I've used them. So we have the 24 pin motherboard. This looks like. EPS for CPU, there's two in here. PCI Express, two cables, two sets of cables, and then, ah, the 16 pin high volt power connector, which only has, it only has two of the top wires in there. But all, it's only got 14, as you can see right there. There's only two wires in there on the top, right there. These, these two are missing. Interesting! Well, that should work either way because this is like a standard connector. Cool! I mean, yeah, that would take care of everything except SATA if you use a SATA drive. Let's look at the tapestry next. It looks like for this. So it has the little, I found this in the bag, it's like a little paper version of it, I think. That's neat. Alright, moment of truth. BAM! Heck yeah. That's going to my Cali corner. I got an entire, like, area over there with Cali merch. And this feels like... Thicker than the user material, like for those. It's already pre assembled, obviously. The thicker um, string as well, it seems. Roll it up for now. And now the box, the goodie box. Get a little closer for this. Alright, I guess we can. Okay, now I can track again. Oh, was it already checked? Oh, well. There we go. Close up view of it. A Cali symbol. Or Cali's uh, name, I should say, in the skeleton here. Nothing much on the back. Oh, it's up pretty cool. Ah! So like that. Got some stickers. Certificate of Authenticity. Certifying it's only one of 3300 made. Bright my light might be a little bright. Yo, we got the Yago signature, let's go! There's our little pins and Keycaps. Whoops. There goes the enter or whatever that is. Not sure what that says. Got a space bar. Dead Sensei. Definitely gonna make that my escape key. Cause that looks so cool. Look at the little dude. But I can zoom out, really, camera. They feel great. Like they're not. They feel a little, like, dense, but not, like, heavy, if that makes sense. I don't think there's anything under this, so I'll just put this stuff back. And now, time to open the actual case, see what we got, because they are, like I said, 
only 3,300 are being made. They're still available to buy as far as I know. Now, I'm gonna dump this bad boy, so let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, and then that camera is becoming real handy. Is it even gonna track me this low? Oh, it does, cool. Let's flip it over. It is solidly in there. So you got the main box, and then you guys probably see there the main box. So only real, only real package package protection you're getting is what's in this box, the main box that has the actual case. We have some more art on the outside. Love it. Love it. I'm really curious what number I got. I see some people have like in the low hundreds, low to mid hundreds. And they, I'm pretty sure they ordered theirs pretty early. I waited a little bit to order mine. So I might get a higher number. Okay, so we got some foam there and here. Pretty typical case packing, I would say. Another flip. I'd be really interested in this brand in general back when they debuted the Height 60. And I liked the shape and the design, but I was real hesitant about getting one because of, well, for one, of course, you can't run two systems in it like I do currently. But two, because you have to run your GPU vertically and use the riser. You, you like, literally cannot place it in the actual slot. So I was like, okay, oh, yeah. so you're relying on that riser now. And I don't know how good the airflow would be. So I was like, I stick with what I got. Well, I think the number thing is right here. So we got 234. Interesting. Okay. Interesting number. It's not 444, but that's not bad. Okay. I wonder if I can pick it up and show you guys with that camera. Okay, it's not that heavy. Pretty sure it includes at least one fan. Oh yeah, it includes two. Oh, wow. All right. So you can see right there. Number two, three, four. It's also a fan inside there in the back behind the box and then the fan on the exhaust right there other than that that's it mesh top uh, looks like partial mesh in the back got the gah! oh come on come on camera work with me here really laser up here come on there we go of course, the gorgeous art on the front. That glare, though. Okay. You guys can see that. I like this trim at the bottom here. Like the red flames. Uh, yeah, you guys saw the rear. So you got the half expansion slots. Which is like I said, why you can't just like put a card in there normally. You have to use the the riser in there. And then there's the front art, front panel art. The distance say button at the bottom. I assume for power. Uh, yeah. And then for an IO, we got power, two USB A's, a USB C, and then looks like mic headphone jack. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, now it's getting a little more heavy. It's getting a little heavy now. It's a bit more spacious than I thought. Does this front come off? Let's just pop off. Yep. It 
Definitely not taking the film off for that. They really got this riser secured pretty well in there. So there's the inside. Got the height uh, logo. There's the foam. There's the riser there. And uh, this is where you put the GPU. Space for. There's like a 280. To a 280 or 240. Uh, the top looks like a 360. You guys can kind of see in there. Uh, I know it really only supports ATX boards. Uh, I have some. I know someone who got who has an EATX board. It says it. It's okay. He's having real trouble like clearing the clearing the uh, cables through the side panel there or the the channel where you route them. Uh, looks like the front panel does not come out. Or off. So I don't see an easy way to do it. And the top it just pops off. So it does filter there. Oh. Okay, yeah. 360 on top there. A little space. So it offsets it from the motherboard right there. As you can see, I think. Then a little height logo thing again, right there. See what the back looks like as far as cable management. Uh, they just pop off. Yep. I kind of like case designs like that, but also I really like my swinging doors. That way you can actually like jam it shut. Whereas with this, if it pops off. My like cable or something gets kind of hard to like keep it in. Look at the back art again. I really like that design. Perfect spot for it too. Oh, it's like a little. It's like raised up. It's like kind of like a sticker, but like you you can't really peel it that you'd want to, obviously. But I thought it was like part of the metal, but it's not. You just shot at the back. So there's an extra fan in there. That's the accessory box. All your front panel connector cables. Access to the motherboard. Back of the motherboard tray. Has some decent tie downs for cable management. And again, like a 280 or 240 right there. Although there's is that it's like a little you see that lip all the way around I'm not quite sure what that is so you definitely have to put the fans on the inside because of that the thing is it is the purpose anyway because you think it'd be too close to the the back panel even though it is ventilated and then obviously ventilated bottom for the fan and the power supply Pretty sure this is yeah. This is gonna be an ATX power supply. Overall, not bad. So there is a sec there is a spot in the bottom there for the cable for the power for the GPU. So you don't worry about trying to fish that around from the motherboard uh, tray. Oh. Interesting. So the bottom here, even though, like I said, it supports. But technically, I think it would support two fans at the bottom. Uh. These filters do come off at the bottom. They come off in opposite directions. That's pretty neat. So there's without the filters, what it looks like. So no, you can only put the one fan here. But I was looking because you notice in the bottom here, it's only airflow. This front, this front couple inches, the back is solid. 
you're only getting airflow from that one fan through this area right here which is fine if you have a if you have a card that only has fans on like this side once you put it in but for the founders edition cards where it has a flow through design I'm curious how that would work I think the height 60s have more airflow through the bottom for the GPU but that's just my observation oh, oh yeah as far as these fans Eh, I mean, kind of hard to show on camera. They look pretty typical fans. I mean, a very square design, very plasticky feeling. I mean, they're probably not the best fans, obviously. And I'm pretty sure these are 120s. Pretty sure, because I have 140s and mine look bigger. I should have figured out, because like, Back here, see there's like, these are like tie down points for something, almost, which confuses me. I've never really seen that on the outside, because you see you got them here, you have a management, but those ones like, I don't understand why they're on the back like that. It's interesting. And it is a three pin. Oh! I just noticed this too. Right here. This is a thumb screw. I would assume for 2.4 inch drives. That's what it looks like anyway. That is on there very tight. I'm not going to worry about trying to get that off. Alright. That panel back on. Nice little snap there. Oh. The other panel is all really, with the front panel, side panel off. The front panel becomes really like he, like the case becomes front heavy. Boop. Also, I'm kind of iffy on cases that have design art design because you obviously can't see much of the internals, which I kind of like seeing the internals, even though mine you can't really see much because I have huge heat sink fan on my CPU, a huge Final Edition 3090 Ti, the RAM's covered up by the CPU cooler and fans. But yeah, nice like, if I could even fit this build in here, which I'm pretty sure I can't, because yeah, I'm pretty sure I can't, probably can't. Because I have the Noctua NHD 15 cooler. And I mean it might fit in here. But I don't know. But like I was saying if I was to put my build in here. I, the red glow for my fans would really look really nice. So. That's that's the Mori Calliope height 40 case and bundle. It took way too long to say. I'm not really trying to promote it, I'm just, I just wanted to open it up to show you guys if you're interested in what all comes included and what it actually looks like in person. So if you want to get one for yourself, I have it linked below. Hopefully they're still available. They should be, because like I said, when I last checked yesterday, they were still open for sale. So yeah, that was my, I guess, case unboxing. With that being said, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Weird outro. Where's my damn keyboard? Pause it. Pause it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it.